What's, What's up, up fam? fam? <laughs> we're actually about to leave. It's weird. I always start the vlogs when we're leaving. Why do I do that? I don't know. I feel like I should open the vlogs earlier in the day, but I've actually been working. There's my proof. How do you like my cute little desk area? Chris made for me. It's actually like a mess and it looks terrible. I want to decorate it. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress, but we've actually been like rearranging our whole room. Addie actually just fell asleep. So that sucks because we're gonna have to put her in the car and wake her up so we can go to the store. Look at that sweet little sleepy face. I don't want to wake her up. Here, go put her in the car. I'm gonna get my shoes. <laughs> she hasn't napped yet, so I feel bad. Oh. But anyway, Addie's crib was here. We ended up moving it because she literally never uses it and we put it in our closet. We're not gonna put her in it in our closet, but we can't find it in ourselves to get rid of it just yet in case she ever does end up using it. But we ended up moving that to the closet and we moved the desk here. Chris patched the wall, as you can see, because if you remember, there were some nasty looking holes here. Whoever lived here before, I don't know why they thought they needed like 200 shelves, but there was literally so many shelves here. So he patched up this wall and we're finally gonna hopefully get around to painting it so we can actually hang some stuff up in here because as you can see it's pretty bare in here so that's gonna be our project for the day hopefully unless we get sidetracked to do something else which is very likely this is what me and Chris do so that we don't forget our list we literally text each other our list that we have so we don't forget <laughs> this thing is literally like driving a limo look at this thing it's huge we're gonna update our old fixtures fixture these aren't fixtures what are these faucets with a new faucet we like this one but i don't know if i want the darker i think i want the lighter we we'll probably go with something like that are you grabbing brother's head she loves this she loves that there's kids in front of her normally we don't get this double thing but i guess one was available <laughs> you're so patient with her kaisen so sweet you literally look ridiculous and every store that we go to i love though that it seems like almost everywhere we go we get complimented on how well behaved they are but it's so funny because this lady came up to us and she was like, your kids are so well behaved. And Chris is like, don't let them fool you. We're threatening them every two seconds. We're not, it was not that bad. They're actually doing really, really, really well. But yeah, it's just funny. Getting compliments about how your kids behave is like the best compliment in the world. Oh, good lighting, hello. Okay, well that's bad now, but it was good. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. Look at all these greenery, the plants. I want to start like a little garden outside in the backyard but let's be real i don't have any time for that so if we're doing that the kids are taking care of it which they would love honestly i think they would love that yeah. but it's just a matter of pulling up all the weeds back there and you know getting it to look pretty so that's on my to-do list for eventually but in the meantime we're trying to make our yard look presentable you're being so so good yes are. We've been here for a long time. All the kids are being really good, but Addie, especially, like, not a fuss. Not a fuss. She hasn't moved. She's just been sitting there, especially for not having a nap. Oh, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, didn't I? She's been so, so good. You look so bored. Are you bored? Yeah. He's like, let's get out of here. This store is so fun for, like, homeowners and, like, new homeowners and you're, like, trying to, you know, make your house look cool. What's up, fam? He wanted to say what's up, fam. But it's so boring for kids. I remember coming here, my parents like lived here because they, yeah, Star Wars. My parents like lived at the store because they bought a house and like completely fixed it up. So I remember being here and being a kid and being like, when are we leaving? But now it's so fun, like being a homeowner ourselves, we're like redoing our house the way we want to do it. I just tripped on that, that was embarrassing. And I broke a toenail. <gasps> but anyway, we're heading out now. I think we got everything that we need. And I don't even know what's on our agenda for today. We're gonna go check out now and see what the damage is. Oh man. We're back home now. And we actually have some visitors. Say hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. We're wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we're wedding planning now yeah. because he's getting married in August. Let's see, how many months is like that away? Three. <laughs> I'm excited. We just had Gabe's sister's wedding and that was like the last like 
you know, like hurdle for you guys to get it. Now it's like officially countdown. So everyone in Gabe's family is like, okay, you guys, your turn, oh, you know, your turn, up. hurry it up. I'm actually in Amber's wedding. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, I think I said it on there, but Chris too, people have Chris too yeah. Me and Chris are in their wedding, and that might be the weirdest thing for some people, but like they're literally like our best friends. So it's, not it's not totally weird. not weird. Yeah, it's totally not weird. So we're over here looking at bridesmaids' dresses because she has everything organized, but she's like very flexible in terms of like what we can get she just gave us a color and like a fabric and that means i have to make decisions and i don't make decisions i'm bad at making decisions why do you put all this pressure on me just <laughs> i love this one and then my color is that look at how gorgeous that is so i was thinking this one but i don't know so that's what we're doing right now chris is going to bring all the stuff upstairs right now and work on the faucets our sinks and i need to clean them off because this is a <laughs> disaster. There's so much shame in my game right now. I am very embarrassed to show this, but you know what? It's real. Okay. We're gonna either paint or stain this. I haven't decided, but we're not gonna change out the countertops. We're just changing out like the faucet. So I'm having a hard time decide what we're gonna make these. If I kind of wanted to make them lighter, but this is like kind of a cream color. I don't know. I'm really torn. And then this is white. I might just go with dark wood because that's kind of what I'm obsessed with. But I don't know. I'm totally up for recommendations. First step is we're gonna switch these faucets out. So actually, the first step is to clean. Second step is to change the faucets out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Talk about the fact that she wasn't with me all day. She was actually with Mimi, was spending time with her cousins who are in town. Different cousins that are in town from Arizona, not the same one that was here a couple weeks ago. Did you have fun with Lola and Olivia? Yeah. Mimi said that you were inventing something. Do you want to show me what that was? Okay, let's see. Which sibling is this? What is it? Which sibling did this? Oh, did this? Which sibling did this? Oh, you did this by yourself? Oh my god! There's literally game pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's me. Big Kaden. Tyson. Kaden. Landon. Tommy. Evan. Adeline. Eddie. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's like a board game? This is brilliant. This is honestly brilliant. So how do you play? It's going to be cards and whoever the answer to these cards gets to move and they choose one of these cards and whatever color they get, they move on the first one. Oh my gosh, that is so... She thought of all of this all completely on her own. Can you tell me, I need a picture of everybody and then I need a picture of each one. I need them to stand up somehow. Oh my god. What's your sibling? What's it like on land for their fifth birthday? <laughs> Who is it? Um, oh, it's you guys. Who was born in Mimi's house? Oh, who was born in Mimi's house? Who was it? And mom! <laughs> no! Who was it? Do you guys know? Mom! I know! You mom. know. That's a good question. I guess the kids don't know. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was the last the boy that was born. Landon. Yes. <laughs> She Which made this game. Had a, to get to the stables in his little kitty. Oh! It's you! Pick a color! Which is sibling? Mm -hmm. Buy the skateboard to the most. It's funny, they totally know like which one is which. Taking off? We gotta do our challenge video. So, everybody. Let us know. We want to do a challenge, but we don't know what challenge to do. And we're wussies, so we, we don't want to do with the boys. No, no, hot, no, hot. no hot spicy stuff. So let us know. Give us some challenge ideas on her channel, probably. Who had a rocking jump a seventh? My birth. I did it. <laughs> our other half is here. We've literally had people in and out of our house all day. Amber and Gabe came. My mom came. Now you're here. I think we're actually gonna head out in a minute though and go get Lilia a bike. While he's working on that, we're gonna take off to the store. I'm gonna go get Lilia a bike for her birthday since I've been promising her a bike. We're gonna go look for one. She has one in mind of one that she wants to get, so we're gonna go see what we can find. You love it? 
dog. When it comes with a little puppy too. Let's go up to the front. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can we run a bike, please? Oh, it's almost nine o'clock at night. Please. You guys are crazy. Please. What does dad say? You have 15 minutes and then you have to put everything away, okay? Okay, hurry up. 15 oh. minutes. I'm just so in love with this little desk area. Kyson's even getting use out of it now. What are you playing? Green. ABC mouse. As usual, his absolute favorite. Especially since school's out, they've been playing this a lot. Just, I feel, it makes me feel better. They're playing outside so much and they're playing with their siblings and all that too, but this is just nice to let, make sure they don't like forget, you know, a lot of the stuff that they learn throughout the year. I try to make sure that they play the ABC mouse at least once a day, every day, either before their like bedtime routine or sometimes we'll play it in the morning. Kind of just depends. I get questions about this all the time still and I will have a link down in the description. You can get 30 days for free or if you click the link down below, I can get you two months for $5. That to me is like the best deal. So definitely click, she's pulling my hair. Definitely click that link down below and you guys can get that deal. Especially during summertime, I feel like this is like the best time to try it out. Kaden knows it's his turn soon. <laughs> They'll literally sit here and just like wait. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down in the description. It's for ages two through eight. It's preschool through, I believe they just opened the second grade curriculum now. You guys need a bath. I think we're gonna run bath time here in a couple minutes. After you're done with eight, yeah, you wanna play that first, huh? Yeah, it's your turn next, and then we'll do AB, and then we'll do bath time. And it's dark. It's literally like the moon is out over there. Where's the moon? Yep, okay, guys, back inside. All right, you ready for a fake you? Totally. Yeah? You look so excited. 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> this week's FAQ is by Freefall090. And the question is, what are the kids' ethnic backgrounds and do they speak a second language? In the vlog, when Chris picked up Tommy and Kaden, they were speaking a little bit sp a little Spanish. I was curious if they're part Spanish and learn Spanish at home or if they learn it in school. Is Lily learning sign language still any other languages from dad's sides? So... Do you want to start with Tommy and Kaden? Yeah, so their mom is Mexican. And I don't think a lot of people knew that either. Yeah. This is and I'm, I don't know like the percentage, but like I'm like German. Mostly German. And Italian, Sicilian. My mom is like, she's not 100% German. She's like half German, half Sicilian. She's, she's actually from Germany and she speaks German very, fluently mm -hmm. and pretty much all all the time so i mean it's she's, like hard to understand her sometimes like her accent yeah is she, very strong i think she hasn't lost it at all and you know she's been here for the last like 30 years so his dad met his mom in germany right yeah. on base yeah mm -hmm. well he was like on leave or something mm. but, but yeah germany. more or less tommy and kaden don't know any German or like Italian or anything like that. They know a little bit of Spanish. Unfortunately. Yeah. Not unfortunately, but knowing Spanish, that's awesome. Tommy and Kaden know um, like Spanish from school and grandparents and just like, you know, like cousins <clears throat> and, and stuff like that. I don't think they could hold a conversation in no, Spanish, definitely. but they know words. Yeah. Yeah. They, they know. So pretty much the answer is no. They don't know any, foreign, <laughs> any other language. And they're from Southern California where there's a lot of Spanish speaking. Well, California in general is yeah. like, I would honestly like, it's probably like half Spanish speaking, you know, I wish I knew more Spanish because it's like that prominent now around here. As for my kids, Gabe is Puerto Rican and his dad spoke like mainly Spanish. All of his family spoke Spanish. He spoke Spanish and he recently passed away um, just over a year ago. He and he never taught any of his kids Spanish, not like enough to, you know, say that they're like Spanish speakers. So he actually never taught his kids. So like Gabe doesn't know Spanish other than, I mean, a little bit, but mostly like what he learned in high school. And therefore Lilia doesn't know really any other languages either and then the twins they don't know anything either <laughs> like there's it unfortunately and this is like such a bummer to say like i really wish that they did especially since like tommy and kaden you know they have spanish-speaking relatives lilia has spanish-speaking relatives the twins and landon have portuguese a lot of portuguese in them and they like speak portuguese and stuff on their side of the family but they obviously don't see that family enough to learn any of that and i would love That'd for all cool. the kids, that'd be so cool. 
<clears throat> if they could speak anything, like your mom should teach the kids German. Yeah. That'd be so cool. She should teach you German. You can say like some things in German. But I would say not the good things. <laughs> I hope that answers you guys' questions. And that is it for today's FAQ Friday. And we will talk to you guys on Monday for our next video. Good night. Say good night.